Hello guys, in this video you are going to see how to install the Reception Remix Nogun on Samsung Galaxy Mega both variants 5.8 and 6.3 So without wasting time Now we'll reboot into recovery mode You can do it by powering off your device and pressing these buttons at the same time and you can boot into recovery mode and now I will directly boot from the advanced power menu I got here so I was testing this ROM and it's very awesome so I'm sharing with you and how to install it safely so if you are coming from older research remix ROM you can directly swipe to factory reset and then uh, install this do not attempt to uh, do it without factory reset and if you are coming from any ROM, take full backup of their ROM if you want to test this. And then install after a full wipe and then clean install it. So if you don't know how to clean install, see here. First let's go to settings here. You don't want to go. I just for the brightness. Okay. I can clearly see all those functions. Now here I need to go to backup first. If you have come from a reselection remix ROM, just here data, swipe to backup to here select back storage SD card and swipe to backup. If you're coming from a reselection remix ROM and other ROMs, do backup everything, select storage SD card and swipe to backup. So I already backed up my device. Wipe and go to advanced swipe. And yeah, again here if you're coming from uh, ROM uh, like reselection remix old directly factory reset and apply it and if you're from other ROM clean everything that's safe and you won't boot loop during the process also so it's very awesome okay, let's go back there's some screen problem for me here now we'll directly install the reselection remix and the update super su i know this super su is very old but for it's for the samsung galaxy mega exclusive so i'm flashing it uh, okay some screen problem here i know it's this device is getting messy now shit it's okay wait people so you will install and directly get this screen <laughs> sorry for this but it's the screen is very hard in uh, down here bottom place and now it's installing so let it install we'll skip this ROM part install again this is okay messing now this reboot system and first uh, reboot you may experience any boot loop or something so don't worry and don't get panic it will boot safe in uh, I think 7 minutes or if you inst uh, install it without GFs for testing it will install in only 3 minutes for GFs it may take some time because it may uh, it is uh, uh, depended upon your GFs package your Pico stock if it's Pico it will automatically directly good reboot into a setup wizard and if you have the stock or aroma installers like big files and you directly want uh, want all the google apps that's fair Oh, this is the logo boot any sorry boot animation and I will skip this uh, all and meet at the home screen directly so let's go as you can see the phone is completely booted up let's start from the lock screen itself it's like uh, same as the lineage OS and here comes the Google pixel launcher and yeah there are my problem starts so yeah you can see it's a new file manager which is not present in the older version like 5.8.1 it's and it's now present and other things are very same let's directly go into settings 
and let me uh, dim the brightness okay this is okay and this is a reselection remix settings with the uh, same google pixel settings like the uh, blue color and here you can see the notification panel and the quick settings are both same like the google pixel so it feels like google pixel if you install some you know, expose mods too and install the assistant and some nav bars and it can make you feel like full google assistant and here is the same configurations bar is changed now in nogat because that was the later uh, some other uh, categorized and now we can easily switch from here that's very easy and that's very good and navigation bar is also present so i will use that it's easier than our buttons interface there are many you can uh, density panel season city panel you can dpi you can easily and we can see ori update and here are developers tag so who is the developer ux designer and everything so that's pretty awesome here see how uh, we get notifications here and sound and ringtones are also a bit changed but no means not like more things are changed and now we get the charging sounds but you cannot set the charging sound last uh, time in research remix you can set a, a specific charging sound here is the sounds app storage you can also install the gravity box for more customizations but i don't think you can get uh, but you can get some errors in this uh, 14 and yet i think nogat is not released the gravity box now you can go to developer set, uh, options it's already enabled and here is root access mode and if it's not working for you from here super is installed latest uh, flash the latest zip now for the galaxy mega both versions and it's over and when you go to about phone you can see this is 7.1.1 device name i9152 which is the 5.8 mega you can install this on both variants 5.8 and 6.3 but the 5.8 has an official build and 6.3 has an official build so both links are down below and SRAM is uh, so it's yeah yeah Selenex is enforcing you can if you have a permissive kernel if uh, there is available in the XDA uh, you can go there and flash it so this was for the uh, whole ROM so all the apps are the same like the marshmallow only you can install it from Google uh, if you want some other apps and many things so this was the uh, Nogat Resex Remix 5.8.2 which is running on 7.1.1 and this was the full review of our uh, Nogat ROM so everything is working fine so that's all for today and we'll meet in next video thank you for watching if you have any problems please comment if you like this video please press the like button and subscribe for more videos and stay tuned for more awesome galaxy mega roms yeah of course if there are many available if node 7 port or s7 port i will easily uh, tell you the uh, sorry post the video so thank you for watching and goodbye